Hey everybody, it's Amanda, and I'm really excited to show you my barn quilt. It's here, I finally have it, but first I'm gonna show you when I went and picked it up the other day, and then I'm gonna show you what I wanna do with it here in the house. So let me show you when I picked it up. back with my friend Barbara and look at my beautiful barn quilt. Is that not gorgeous? I'm so excited. She said she did a, uh, what was it, uh, gray stain, right? Yes. So if you guys want to order a beautiful barn quilt, I'm going to have links down in the description box. And if you want it like this, you can ask for the gray stain. There's also back behind here, you can see the wood stain that she can do. And you can even get it without a frame if you want to hang it outdoors. These are the indoor version. So, and uh, you have a special deal going on. Free shipping. Free shipping. So if you use my code, you're going to get free shipping. It is awfully late to get it in time for Christmas. So unfortunately, you're probably not going to get it in time for Christmas with the regular shipping. You can contact Barbara about that on her Etsy shop. And so, do you see this beautiful one? You can order a smaller version too. I'm going to have something special with this later. Keep your eye out for it. But we're going to take this home and I'm going to show you where I want to hang it up in the house. Alright, so I'm really excited. I have the barn quilt sitting right here next to me on the floor and the little one. And I got to tell you guys, after I got them home, I talked to Barbara. I really want the little one too. She had the little one that I showed you and there was another little one that was a similar uh, color and pattern and I said, I'm gonna get that one too. So I bought the two small ones and I'm gonna do another one for a giveaway. She's so generous. So we're gonna have another one for a giveaway. So I'm gonna have the big barn quilt and the two small ones. I only have the one small one here at the house right now. But what I decided to do is the wall that's behind me, that picture back there, that is actually a an H. Hargrove picture. I, If you haven't seen it, let me take it to my bedroom real fast. Okay, so this is a little side excursion, but this is actually my favorite painting that I own. It's by H. Hargrove. We found it at a thrift store. And so I started collecting his art and he has a bunch of different series. This is uh, the one in my bedroom. It's like a farm series. And then the balloon series is the one that I have out in the living room, which I really like and think it's cute, but I kind of want to put it in like a guest bedroom or like a kid's bed, like, you know, for my grandkids one day. But I want to have the beautiful farmhouse barn quilt thing happening through the regular house. So we're going to go back out there. So this is my current situation. Don't judge me, people. I, we have uh, Rick put the tree up. We have this, which is actually a buffet that we put our TV on. That's all going to change. We're taking that out of here. I'm taking all of this stuff out. And this is just going to be one ginormous blank wall in my family room. And Rick and I are actually going to probably set this up and use it for our office. We're going to take the uh, desks that we have in the main living room area and bring it in here because the light's better. You can see the light is much better in here. And one of the things we really struggle with with uh, the videos that we have is making sure there's enough light for everything that we do. So we're gonna bring all the desk stuff in here and I'm gonna have this set up as our recording area. So while we're here, I'm gonna put this beautiful barn quilt, actually these beautiful barn quilts, I'm gonna show it to you in a second, on the wall right here and this is what I plan to do with it. And I mean, let me show you all the stuff I've been doing. Okay, we're sitting on the floor now. So I pulled out like all the awesome stuff that I have that matches the barn quilt. So this is the barn quilt that you actually saw in the video with Barbara, this big one back here. I love it so much. Look how big it is. And then this is the small one that I have. I'm gonna have another small one come to me. And I'm gonna position these on this wall and they'll take up a lot of wall space. They're super cute. And I was trying to find out what else I had in the house that would coordinate with it. Well, first of all, you guys have seen this before. This is a friend of my daughter's. She painted this for us when we started doing YouTube. So sweet, I love it. It's usually in the background of our videos and I think that'll match it really well. And then I was looking for other things that I had. Look at this. I had this little chicken little display thing as I'm trying to get the glare off of it. I think the colors are just right. Like I really appreciate these colors. I think they're so nice. So um, this I actually got at Mighty Dollar for $1 years ago and I loved, I went back to get a couple more. I was gonna give them as gifts to people and then they were all gone, which I totally understand because they're super cute. But anyway, so I think this will match the decor too. I think I kind of wanna, like we have red in our dining room. I wanna maybe bring the red out 
a little bit more out here. And on that note, I also found this. This is a 2019 Farmer's Almanac that I plan to hang up and maybe use this for like uh, my calendar to help me plan things. But look, I think the colors of that match it too. So I think this might be kind of black, white, red, gray, this, I don't, I don't know what direction I'm going, but I do know this. I also went out and got paint samples. Now this, I was looking for light grays. I didn't have this with me when I went. So I just grabbed a bunch of them and you can even see from this, like this one is a little more blue. This is a little more white. This is a little more brownie. Um, so we're gonna, we're, I don't think any of these really work super well. So we're gonna actually probably take the small one <laughs> with us and, and go and try to find a matching color, something that we think is good. But I wanna do a, like a pale gray and have like white trim. That's the direction I'm aiming for right now. And I think I'm gonna accessorize with mostly this and maybe a touch of the teal. I haven't 100% decided yet, but I'm, I'm just, I'm really excited about the general direction this is going. Like I'm really loving the feel that I'm getting from all the beautiful barn quilt stuff. So anyway, I can't believe that everybody, when I talk about barn quilts, not everybody even knows what they are. So you guys have to go check them out. So make sure I'm going to have Barbara's link down in the description box to her Etsy shop. Go look and see what she has. She has some really beautiful barn quilts. And if you see on Pinterest a design that you like, she can make any design. You just have to show it to her and she can make it. And have this really nice frame, which I really think makes it when you're putting it in your house and have it all set up and it's just, it's beautiful. So anyway, so go check her out if you want to have a barn quilt in your house because I think they're so cute. And I mean, really, the price on these. This one unframed is only $25. $25. People would spend that at like a fast food restaurant and this you could enjoy in your house every day of your life. And framed, it's $35. And she has the free shipping deal right now. So get yourself a little, it'll be after Christmas by the time it gets there, but get yourself a little Christmas present. Hang this up in your house and make it beautiful. Wouldn't this, I think these little ones would be so cute. Like if you had a row of three of them behind a bed, like, like over your headboard, like just a row of three, I think that would be so cute. And it would also be cute. You know how you have those like little walls in your hallways or in your bathrooms or something. I think this would be cute hanging there too. Just the little ones, but the big ones, I mean, if you have a big substantial wall to fill, you could get different patterns that coordinate and really fill a big wall. Like you could get four of them. It would be huge and beautiful. So it would be like a literal quilt on your wall. It's so cute. Anyway. I'm just really excited about it. I can't wait to redecorate my house. We're gonna wait till after the Christmas season is over, give, give ourselves a little breather, and then hopefully we'll start painting here in January and we're gonna keep you guys updated with that. So once this gets on the wall, I will show it to you again. And I'm probably gonna drag Barbara over here and have her look at it too. So anyway, this is my Christmas present to me. I'm so happy. So, all right, that's it for today. I'm so glad I could show you guys the barn quilt now that it's finally done and finally here. And like I said, when it's on the walls, I'll show you that too, so. All right, you guys have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fenomenal Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also, if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it, because there's way more details there. And uh, here, over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by, and we'll see you next time. Bye.